I always work to filters, the light filters. Myself and the lighting person have to work together because if they've got the wrong lighting in, I might use the wrong makeup. And if I use the wrong makeup, I might use the wrong gel. So we need to get together on that so that we can balance the colours. The other thing is that if you're going to use a makeup artist, you really must make sure that they're insured. Um, I'm actually insured for three million. Um, and touch wood. I've not had to use any of it yet. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. I mean, it's 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 some of the chemicals that we use. If you know, they could have an adverse effect. So you obviously always make sure that the person that you're working on hasn't got sensitive skin. Um, you always check that they're not wearing, or they are wearing contact lenses. Um, different things like that. Um, very often. Like, so, so I don't even know your name. Jason. Jason, right. Um, if I was actually making Jason up for this evening, say it's theatre, um, I would have got him to have shaved this morning, not just pre-production, um, because very often men's skin is quite sensitive when they've shaved, so it would give him a day to actually, um, his skin to get used to um, everything. So, right, we've got this nice young lad called Jason. He's a really good lad. He's never been any trouble to his mum. <laughs> <laughs> never been in trouble with the police. <laughs> but suddenly he starts to feel a bit poorly. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce makeup's so different nowadays to what it used to be. Um, the old thick Leishner used to go on sort of like polyfiller. Um, people just don't use that anymore because the lighting is so much better now. Um, you don't actually need all this rubbish. Um, I mean, years ago in the theatres in London, they used to use um, a, a base makeup which had arsenic in it, and that's why very often actors died young. The other interesting thing, actually, is that um, in a lot of theatres in London, the brickwork was red, so they used to scrape the bricks out. Um, and use a rabbit's foot for blusher. So in, in a lot of very old theatres in London, if you actually go down to the Woodburn makeup room, there's holes in the brickwork where they used to scrape it out and use it as blusher. But they put it on with a rabbit's foot. I don't know whether that's where it comes from, you know, the good luck thing. But the other interesting thing is that the only way to get all this arsenic-based makeup off and the brick dust was to use ham fat. That's where ham actor comes from. Right, warm it up on the hand. Don't ever go sponge to make up. Always go to the back of your hand because of ham. I take it you're not going to do it. No, no, I'm not. Right. Just gonna. Right, so I think he's beginning to look a bit more. He's been on drugs. And he's, I think we'll, we'll get someone to beat him up. Because <laughs> he hasn't paid for his drug. <laughs> this is, um, well, it's a sponge. You can use neck curtains, whatever. It's a stipple sponge. Just make him look as if he's sleeping. Wow, just a bit. Feet, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is this is lovely. This is fresh scab. <laughs> 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 <My favorite. laughs> Collected this morning. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 are, are you being picked up um, later on, then, Jason? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Right, have you been? To, have you told anybody that was a makeup session today? No. <laughs> 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 They'll have to film their reaction when they when they come to pick you up. Now what you can do, I mean, if, you, if you're going to do this, you know, as a quick, as a quick film, um, you could actually turn this round. He's fallen off his bicycle and skidded along the ground. So you could actually put coffee granules in there. Yeah. Just just lay some coffee granules on, right. which is quite good. And I expect you know about cornflakes and um, rice krispies are really good for warts. 
and um, crushed up cornflakes make really good cold sores. Yeah. And you can put them on with, with, with beeswax. There you go. Bit of a space. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is your sort of squirty sort of blood, which is really That's good. Quite sexy, isn't it? It That's is. a nice colour. It's, dark it's quite good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that, sorry, Chris? This is tooth black. If you actually look at it face on, it doesn't really. No. If you look at it into the camera, it looks like a you know slid down the road maybe or. It looks a bit unpleasant, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and it, you know. Must give it a working. Yeah. Yeah. Simon's actually got quite a red complexion. Because I've been sitting in the sun today. Oh right. I'm used to it. Right, now see if he was filming, he wouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> He's been in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> is it, he is now. <laughs> I didn't realise he'd been sitting in the sun. <laughs> so, what we would probably have to do is put a slight green tinge to it to counteract the red. And now, if you if you look in the mirror, you can start to see the shading coming out with the, mm. here. But if you look in there, you can't can't see it. It's just make it a bit slimmer. Oh, it's pretty. Obviously, you know, if, if I was going to do this proper, it would take me an awful lot longer. It would probably take an hour or so to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want to get that off, Jason? Okay. So, it might be in the shower. No, I'm not sure. I thought it was in the shower. Yeah. And if you've got the right makeup on, you could use that wig for so many things. I mean, if it, obviously, if you're going to do a geisha, you'd spray it black. This is a lovely wig. And our wigs move, use more than we past think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these, these wigs, if, if you were actually using this for a close-up, you'd actually have one that had a lace front on it, and it would be glued on, because, if, as you can see, she's got a line. <laughs> Buddy Holly. That's brilliant, isn't it? It's a wonderful race. Really. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Right, bit of beeswax. So what to use instead of glue. Or if it was for a really big production and you were doing it every night, you would make one. And from then on, I went on to the English National Opera and worked for them for nine and a half years. So, um, then I did sort of wigs, makeup, stuff like that. So, a long time, 30, 36 years. And I'm only 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>